ladies and gents welcome welcome it's end of March we are in Hackney we are going to walk around a little bit in this area it's a beautiful sunny day it's supposed to be raining soon so let's make the most of it let me zoom in a tiny bit yeah. So this is Hackney Old Town Hall. Let's check out what's going on in this area here. Wow. We've got the aloe vera. <coughs> Sorry? I've heard that before so many times. It's not funny anymore, sorry. <laughs> They'll charge you for that. Oh my God. Every stall I go to. There is only so many times you can hear that. <laughs> this, is, this is my kind of drawing. Woof, 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 woof. Green is crocodile, potentially. <laughs> oh my gosh, love it. We are outside of Primark. I just went to buy a new purse right there because because I threw away the one I had in India. Everything was dusty. I threw away everything, and I managed to lose my, lose my uh, bank card as a result because I didn't have my system in place, my usual stuff. So it fell out as I pulled out my phone from my winter jacket pocket. And yeah, now it's all sorted. I'm just down 11 pounds from TFL. Seems they don't seem to be able to give me refund because the card, it doesn't show on the card as it was. It's complicated basically. When you register your card on TFL, it's not listed there since this is a new card I got from Halifax Bank. Anyway, it is, it is what it is. You, you win some, you lose some. I don't think I've ever been on this street, on this high road or high street, whatever it is. I've been to Hackney like twice in my life, three times maybe, filming. But I don't think I've been to this place. I actually do need to go to Halifax Bank at some point. Interesting place here. in the sun that's what we need boys and girls we need some sun finally 
I just stopped coughing after weeks and weeks of coughing. If not, if, let's be real, it's been months. And now the norovirus is going around. Everybody I speak to says they have it. It's vomiting and diarrhea. So I'm just waiting when it's my turn. That's gonna be that's gonna be the cherry on the top. The end of the winter. The end of the winter in style. That's what I need. Vomiting and diarrhea after never ending coughing like I'm dying. I was just gonna show there is some kind of art going on on the on the road, but it's busy. Let's go back there. There is a little park by the by the town hall. Loads of flowers, so let's check it out. I've been at home to be honest for many many days, if not weeks now. I don't really come out much. So this is my first time filming after a, a long while. And it's nice to see some flowers. So let's check them out. Spring is around the corner, hopefully. Skiwi Louis, if you are watching, I know you've been saying you can't wait for spring. Stay, stay online for the next two, three minutes. I'm gonna show you some nice spring flowers to give you, to give you hope. <laughs> and trust me, cold is always better than than heat wave. If it's cold, you turn on the heater. But in England, there is not much aircon happening, so when it's heat wave, it's day and night, there is no escape, it's very bad. As I said, I came back from 37 degrees just now. So I can tell you firsthand, let's be happy with the cold. <coughs> oh, <I don't> mind. <laughs> So they've got this pedestrian zone here, I see, in Hackney. Somehow I, n I never managed to come here. I've been everywhere, <laughs> but not here. And this seems to be the main area. Pound Star. Flowers. Let's go while it's nice and sunny. Let's go see that art outside of the town hall, Hackney Old Town Hall. This is where we are. There's a map. So we are on Mare Street. So, so the directions, toilets. That looks like custard apple. Apple, am I right? I've tried it for the first time in uh, India. I, I've ignored it. Thailand. Maybe I did try it um, in Thailand. I can't remember, but I've just tried it a few few weeks ago. And yeah, it's it's not my thing, really. To be honest, it's not the best. It's 
it's okay though, but you have to be used to it, you know, you have to grow up with that kind of stuff to, to love it. Anyway, let's go see flowers. nice for our thumbnail a little bit of vegetables a little bit of fruits a little bit of Primark <laughs> enjoy enjoy let's go see the flowers Scary Louis are you ready get ready for the flowers <laughs> because you know what happens in during heat wave there is zero green grass like this oh we have to make we have to make the most of this, this time of the year with green grass and flowers, guys. Because during the heat wave, it's gonna be all brown. All brown. There are some graves right here. I'm gonna go closer to the flowers, don't you worry. Let me just find a bunch of nice ones. Somewhere in the sun. Tomorrow is St. Patrick's Day, so today must be. Hold on, 16th. I'm losing track of time, to be honest. Let me open my second phone and check the date and time for you now. now. Today is yeah, the 16th, now it's 2 30. Sun has gone, I'm afraid, but let me zoom in at least a little bit. You see, Skiwilui? Spring is coming. I need to make my way to St. James's Park where there are thousands of thousands of flowers. So there is a name of these gardens. San San John at Hackney Church Gardens, you see? This is where we are. Let's explore around here. I would love to get myself to. I would love to get myself to Stoke Newington today and film around there. It's about 20 minute walk from here. Let's see where we end up though. Let me see what it says about this place here.
Look at this. Hackney. Hackney used to be the most dangerous place in, in London. I don't know if that's still the case or if other parts took over statistically. I don't know the numbers, you know, could be Croydon, could be Brixton, you know, but Hackney used to be number one at some point a few years ago, maybe 20, <laughs> who knows. But apparently things have changed. As I said, I don't look at the news much. I don't look at the statistics and stuff. I just hope the boys behave, boys and girls, and everybody will stay safe. I should say everybody stays safe. My goodness. <laughs> You know what, while we are in this quiet place, I'm gonna just quickly open my map. What a fabulous day, guys. Oh, yes, yeah, Kiwi Louis, I saw these flowers I was going to show you. Look at this. Look at 
a trainer. Well, he's Leonard Smith when we need him. Right there on the, on the building, he loves his trains. And we've got a nice view of the of that place there, of the, of the town hall. with my map and sometimes you know you start walking and it's it's not accurate and that's why I'm double checking but it looks like I don't even have a have a reason to go there to be honest I just know they've got look at these monkeys <laughs> I didn't mean you as the monkey. <laughs> I was going to show you these, look. Are you on video? So on video. <laughs> no, I video, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's okay, I'll walk. Thank you so much. Thank you. I don't have an umbrella with me. I meant to film only for an hour or so. We are on Amherst Road right now. So hopefully we'll get an hour or two before the rain comes and I'll jump on a bus or whatever train. This will be a beautiful sakura tree, cherry blossom.
it's not too cold to be honest. I'm in my in, in a sweater right now. And I've got my jacket tied around my waist, which is keep on sliding down. And I don't have enough hands to keep it up. It's so annoying. Sorry guys. Give me one second, otherwise I'll drag it on the floor. Okay, done. What do we have here? Pembury Tavern. Leighton, Stockton, Dalston. Beautiful, luxurious um, directions. Look at this funny bus. What is it? GD1. Looks like. What is it? Oh, it belongs to Hackney, that's all I see. It says pink on it. And it's empty, who knows? That's the Pembury Tavern. Local people will be familiar with it, sure. Oh, talking about local people. If you used to live in Hackney and moved out, Feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. Um, you know, I see new flats right there. So that could be a surprise for you if you haven't been back in the area for a while. So feel free to leave a comment. If it's the same that you remember, if it's different. Um, if you had a good time here, if you miss it. I'm here to no clue if turn this way it says. I love hearing from local people. Caribbean cuisine on the other side, look at that. Who knows what I serve? It says yum yum. <laughs> I see some chicken, must be jerk chicken. I felt tempted to stay at home today to be honest because the sunny part of the day is gone. Now it's just gonna get worse and worse. So the footage is not gonna be looking amazing with blue sky and sunshine. But, you know, for local people, it's going to be potentially interesting since, since it brings memories to some. back from India, from Mumbai. These trains seem so tiny. Those, those trains in Mumbai, when they come at you, they look like, a, like an angry pit bull. They look three times as big as this one here. They're massive and always crowded. Oh my goodness. That was quite an experience. Scary one. <laughs> getting out of the train of the ladies carriage second class which I didn't know it was second class oh my gosh I thought I'm gonna lose my mobile phone it was absolutely insane I don't exaggerate <coughs> so if everything goes well we are gonna end up in Stoke Newington on the high street there, the high road, high street. <laughs> so we are going to cover two areas in one. The 
this is Sanding, Sandingham Road where we are, Casablanca restaurant, Pizza Town. is falling down. But anyway, what do we have here? Houses, look at these palm trees here. These houses are quite big, huh? How many floors? I see one above the ground. One, two, three, four, four or five floors. I assume it's gonna be five. That's quite impressive. Who knew places like this existed in Hagi area? feels like, you know, somewhere in central London, they have these tall houses. None of these people need a gym. So many stairs going up and down. My goodness, you must be out of breath. Just going upstairs from the basement. Oh my gosh. If you own the whole thing, maybe it's flat these days. Park Road. I lived in a similar building like this in Shadwell. A long time ago, now Shadwell is expensive. Zone 1, I think it is. on one or two, I can't remember. Oh, so many fire trucks, fire engines. I guess tomorrow people will be out for St. Sun Patrick's Day. Maybe even tonight. Tonight, today is Thursday, so potentially it's gonna start tonight. I won't be out today or tomorrow in the evening, I'm afraid. But maybe in the daytime, maybe I'll go and check it out in Soho. Who knows? Fuck 
Kitty. These houses look quite nice. It's a nice change from the red to white. I like it. You know, the brown or red. It's nice to see something different color. I'm gonna get my. I'm just looking at the map. I'm gonna get myself a main road so that I don't bore you with the residential part. Even though it's interesting to see all these big houses. Look, somebody wrote "Safe Ridley Road." That's the Ridley Road Market where I've been filming. Where every time I go there, somebody shouts at me for filming. <laughs> what it is even though I, I i can't be the only person going there i wonder if they give hard time to everybody everybody else who goes filming there Rectory Road and what is it? Hand of Glory. Some kind of pub going on there. I kind of like that dark color of the pub. Look at that new, new building here, new flats or whatever that is, looks nice, I like that, again I like that light color, very nice. right here for man for man place sorry furley road oh my gosh i don't know how to pronounce it far i'm not gonna even try <laughs> it's one of those tricky names oh my gosh 
lady on the window sun tanning no she's not it's not nice weather Chopped it off. Nice. Ooh. I love palm trees, guys. Looks fabulous. How many floors here? One, two, three, four. Four that we can see, but I assume there will be basement as well, so four or five. Loads of stairs. Wow, look at that. That looks like nothing here, these colors. We are in Hackney. <laughs> I think it's Hackney Weeks that has such a bad reputation for crime and stuff. Because as you can see, this is, you know, I can't imagine about stuff happening in this area where we are now but Hackney is a big borough so I'm pretty sure there are estates and areas completely different to this house they've got some chickens in the window you probably can't see them let me zoom in a little bit uh, see that Easter Easter time Actually, it's taller than the ones on the right. I've just noticed right here. Wow, that's there is a nice car. The white one. What is it? Patient? Oh my God, it is. It kind of looks nice. Sakura cherry blossom downloading right there. I would say it's 30% downloaded. I'm pretty sure there are places with proper uh, cherry blossom trees already open up, already blossoming. It's just been such a horrible weather recently. I never made it out of my house to be honest. So soon we are going to explore, now we are on the main road and we are going to walk this way. Look at that beautiful. There is a restaurant down there but it's a, it's a mosque. Aziz, what is it? Azizie, Aziz, yeah. Jami, they call it, I think. I'm not sure.
That's very nice. Say bye bye to it from from a different angle. Pastel West Hackney has St. Paul's as well. That's what it says, St. Paul's, West Hackney. Right here. directions here oh wow we were there is something mirror like in the shopping window it's headless so now we are on Stoke Newington Road. I assume officially we are in Stoke Newington, like the sign said. 
sorry guys, my jacket is keep on falling down, it's so annoying. It's sliding down slowly but surely. We've got community information right here. Not much going on. As I said, uh, I don't like those kind of posts. It reminds me of a long time ago when I was a kid. My city had quite a few of them and they all looked ugly with torn leaflets and stuff disorganized. I never liked it. Charlie Chaplin. Thank God, I know that it's amazing. It's a shame, like I said, no, with the heavy heart, but whatever. I was gonna show these tomatoes, tomatoes. They look amazing, don't they? Let's see the amazing price. I'm pretty sure that it's. Oh yeah, the price is amazing as well. Likely I didn't pronounce that properly because I don't know how to pronounce it, so I'm just guessing. No idea what I use it for. I've seen it many times, but I have no idea. Let's see those avocados. 170 for each. I miss my roasted chestnuts every time I pass a place like this. I'm checking if they have it, but obviously it's off season completely now, so. Soup dick! Soup dick! Help me out. There you go, no traveler talk. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
There is some street art going on right here. Let's see. Guys, I have to pick it up. Sorry, video ends. Thank you.